Welcome to the seventh and final episode of the Endocrine System 2402 Lab presentations. Thought we'd never make it, but here we are. Uh, this will be a quickie. We got the pineal, pineal, pineal gland and the thymus. They don't really have anything to do with each other, but they just fit into one presentation. So pineal gland is located in the brisane up in here. I'm circling it, and it's part of the epithalamus, which is part of the diencephalon, which is the same structure that includes the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland from earlier. So the pineal gland is sort of more up and back. Uh, the thymus is located on the ventral surface, sort of anterior ventral surface of the heart right here, big lobular thing, really nice and big in a rat. If it was an adult person, it wouldn't be quite as large. Uh, so here's the hormones, quick and simple. Uh, melatonin by the pineal gland helps you sleep. You make more at nighttime. As it gets dark, you start producing more. So sleep during the night, wake during the day. That's how humans do. If you are a human that has a night job, you could experience uh, sleep problems due to your brain being all confused as to when you're supposed to sleep. You can actually uh, give yourself a uh, broad spectrum light at your workstation, which will con convince your brain that you're awake during the daytime if you're really up at night. The thymus uh, produces a couple of hormones which have sort of vague immune system functions. The thymus largely functions as a uh, lymphocyte development uh, organ which we'll deal with when we get to the immune system. For now just say thymosin and thymopoietin, various immune fun functions. All right, uh, study all of your videos and photos and see it.